And every once in a while, you just, you've had enough. You have hid the truth for too long. You really need to get it out of you, right? There are a lot of things that I try to keep to myself just as a content creator. I, I think I feel like I'm a little bit more of a private person than a lot of other content creators, but this keeps me up at night. This has honestly been bothering me for a very long time. And I knew this day was coming. I knew it. Like we've had an idea that around this time of the year in 2021, I was going to need to admit something that I never wanted to admit before in my life. And today we're going to talk about it. Hello, everybody. My name is Gabe. There are links in the description for you to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Do so. And without further ado, let's just get into it. I have a confession to make. And that is that. I have never played Mario 3D World in my life. And now with the release of Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, I hope to rectify that. Zach swears that this game is amazing. If anybody doesn't know, Zach's my best friend. He has a Nintendo channel called Switch Force. I used to do work over there, but I am super excited to play this. I hope I didn't really scare anyone with, with the seriousness of this, but I probably didn't. Don't worry. Regardless, I've never played this and the trailer that dropped this morning in case you guys didn't know Hey, a trailer dropped this morning. It looks amazing. That is a fire ass trailer If I'm being honest, I skipped a ton of the Wii U generation in general There was a few games. I really liked. I really liked zombie U. That was the first game I ever played on the Wii U I played the important ones, right? Zelda was on there played that but this one just sort of slipped by. So for all intents and purposes, I am about to get a brand new 3D Mario game for myself in just a few weeks here. And I am starting to get very hyped. One of the things that I didn't even know that I just realized this watching some videos earlier today is that this has online co-op. A 3D Mario game with online co-op is something that I and a lot of other people have wanted for a very long time. So now that we're finally getting it, my mind is blown. Bowser looking huge there at the end. Mario going Super Saiyan ape, basically. Because <laughs> he gets so big and with the yellow hair back, there's like furry implications at one point because Mario's just kind of hanging out with a bunch of cool cats. I think it looks super fun. And given that it is a game that is kind of underrated. At least that seems to be the perception in general because it reviewed well and it did well for the Wii U. But now a brand new audience that has never played this game, people like me, are going to get our hands on it for the first time. And that is, <laughs> it's going to end up being one of the top sellers for the Switch this year. Mark my words. Because for so many people, it is a brand new Mario game because the Wii U was such a failure that <laughs> people wanted nothing to do with it. And people that own it, again, me, I owned it. I unplugged it at one point. I threw it in a closet and I never got it back out. So there were things that I didn't experience before. I'm going to try to talk Zach into doing a stream or two with me for, you know, a 3D Mario game. It's one of his favorite Mario games ever. And Bowser's Fury looks freaking sweet. It honestly kind of looks like the Mario Odyssey DLC that we never got. And I don't know what the extent of being huge is going to be like. Will it have gameplay implications other than, hey, you're huge and you can like break stuff? I don't know. Nintendo is very, very creative and we know that they like to mix things up. Although I will say they are on a little bit of a big, I mean, I don't know what to call it. They just keep making things bigger. Pokemon Game Freak, it wasn't Nintendo specifically, but hey, Gigantamaxing was a thing. You just got huge. I don't know. It's like somebody at Nintendo really likes Godzilla now. and <laughs> They're just trying to make everything bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, whatever. It, it feels a little gimmicky, but I'm going to withhold judgment until I play. If I'm being honest, this game kind of just kicks things off for the year of gaming for me. Hitman 3 is about to drop in a couple of weeks, but it's not... My, not even a couple of weeks, like eight days. Regardless, that game isn't for me. I'm terrible at them, so I don't get into those a lot. But a brand new, to me, Mario experience where it's 3D and linear at the same time. And I can play co-op with friends online. 
I'm in for that big time. And the addition of Bowser's Fury, which is going to be the only new thing to a lot of people that already like the game a whole lot, is going to be new to me too because it's all new to me like many of you i also have an extensive backlog of video games that i probably should have played at some point but i just never got around to doing it and in my case a mario game just happens to be on it and if i'm honest it's not the only mario game on it but regardless i'm not gonna talk about that right now i'm just really hyped to finally be able to play mario 3d world on nintendo switch being able to play mario games on the go is something i enjoy a lot my girlfriend really likes playing these games on the go too sometimes we're like in bed i'm watching whatever i'm watching on tv and she's sitting there laying there whatever playing through these games and since she isn't super used to video games yet she's getting there like mario games are like a perfect introduction they were my introduction to the world of video games so i think it's awesome that they are also the introduction for her seeing bowser jr with the paintbrush seeing the cats that i mentioned before just kind of congregating with mario i don't know what the hell they're up to seeing the new collectibles seeing the charm the creativity and just the vibrance that a mario game has that no other games in the industry really do it, it honestly got me excited. I wasn't excited for this because, hey, I could have played this game at any point in the last number of years because, hey, I hadn't played it. But now that it's coming to Switch, a platform that I love, own, and have readily available to me at any given time, I don't need to go into the closet to dig up my Wii U in order to play this. It's going to be amazing. The only thing that kind of gets me is that if you really, really want to play this game for way cheaper, you could probably get a used copy for your Wii U if you still have that but that doesn't have bowser fury and that seems to be enough of an addition to justify the 60 dollar price point but if you do want to save money you can always just go buy the wii u version i see no fault with that if you can feel okay with that controller i mean that controller kind of doesn't feel too different than the switch controller even though it's like way chunkier but regardless i digress if you want to play the game but you think hey 60 is a lot for a game that you know i already have have fun go play it again if that's something you really want but having people speak about this game once again because it's about to come out people are going to be talking about it people are going to be playing through it and i want to be part of the conversation so i hope that i have a blast doing it some co-op streams would be really really fun we'll see if we can get zach to do a couple of them with us but there you have it that has been my confession for today i almost feel like i'm at a church somewhere and there's a priest over here listening to me and my sins and this is one of my major gaming sins i had never played 3d mario world and i hope to rectify that very very soon and i predict that i'm gonna have a freaking blast doing it thank you for watching make sure to follow me on twitch and twitter i stream three times a week over on twitch every monday thursday and friday link is in the description follow me on twitter so you know when i'm going live and that's pretty much it i want to thank you guys for being here i want to thank you for the support and with that said, I will see you on the next video. Adios.